Hey everybody, it's Mike Venus. I'm back. I want to show you how I, this process that I go about making my lo-fi beats on the MPC and standalone, right? So first and foremost, what I do is I set up my drum program. My drum program is simple. I use, oh shit. I use a hi-hat, a stick, and two and it was a kick. The way I have the pads laid out is like if you take your natural hands like your hands like this, which is natural, you lay it on the pads. That's how I have my drum set up. I have my hi hat on pad 12. My prime stick is on 11. Prime kick is on three. So my hands is like this and just like this. Right now, you know, I, I I love syncopated beats. It's the Latin in me. You understand? So, pad ten has my has a stick on it as well, and that's more for syncopated stuff. So, the the syncopated stuff, the, the beats within the beats, you understand? And I have a ghost kick on too. You know what I'm saying? Any of that boom bap, you know, lo-fi, you want your kicks and stuff like that, right? So on this program, I have the SP12 uh, vintage effect on there. I have the air pair EQ set to filter on drums. And I have a compressor, the compressor master on there to help glue everything together so it sounds cohesive. Right, and the way I drum is like if you was drumming on Congos. That's how I have it laid out, so. Right, that's on my drums, my drum program. Then I use a sample, because it's lo-fi. I make my own samples, so what I would do that's where the jazz Mike Venus Jazz Keys series is at volume 22. Drop the date, go copy it. Volumes 1 through 22 is in stores now. Volume 23 will be out tomorrow. Get it. Right? I use those. Ooh, excuse me. I use those loops for my sample, right? Now, obviously, the sample comes clean, right? I set it up that way so that you, as the the person purchasing the loop pack can dirty it up as much as you want. So what I do, I take the loop, I chop it up, I put it and I convert it to a program. Now on the program's effects, I set a mother ducker, right? For the side chain compression. And I also on the drum program, I put the mother ducker input, right? Which is the, the source that is gonna trigger the side chain on the kicks, both kicks right on the ghost and on the prime right and then also on the sample program i put a air pq pyro eq on radio so it sounds distorted already as if you was listening coming out of a, like a, a old radio and then i put the air lo-fi effects on it as well i tuned the bit rate down to 12 so this program is similar to the sp 1200 which has a 12-bit sound this has a 12-bit sound so it doesn't sound like it's pulled from two different it, it sounds like it was on the same sampler that's the goal and then i add a little noise i add a little clipping and i add some of the little stuff that will give it imperfections great great plugin please use it on the effects and then on the actual program what i do i set all the clips to one mute, uh, mute group so that so it cuts each other off then what i do i always tune my samples down i feel like it makes it sound more distorted because it's stretching it it's a way that you can stretch the sample right and then after i tune it down i go to the envelope right filter in the drum program and I adjust the attack and decay 
I set it 30 on the attack and 30 on the K. So that that way it will clean up any, even though I chop it as clean as I can, cause you can get real precise on this machine. I do that so that I don't get all this like popping, unnecessary popping. So that kind of cleans it up a little bit. And then I go to the filter on this program and it's normally set to low two. I still use that. And then I turn the cutoff down so that it sounds more lo-fi. Then I go to the LFO, right? Cause you want to get that pitch modulation in there. So what I do, I change the wave form. I use all of them if I can. And I change the syncing to more of like a, either eight note triplet or dotted eight note or like 16, whatever, whatever your preference is. And then that LFO, I want it to affect the pitch. So it gives it a wobble, you know, sounds more of that lo-fi goodness, right? So after I do that, I make a beat, right? Right? I make a beat. Now, usually when I do this, I do four beats because I'm doing it for the demo for my loop pack series because I want not only to show what you can do if you use, if you buy the loop pack, but kind of show what I'm capable of doing as well. You know, I make beats. So after I make four beats, I go to song mode and I chain up those beats, right? And then I bounce it to a sequence, right? So once it's bounced to, bounce to a sequence, it sounds like one beat that transition to the next beat. So then what I do um i flatten that the whole sequence so that now it's a wave file then i go to another sequence right i open up a new program and i put that sample of that whole song on the pad and then i go into the program and i set the pad from one shot to note on the reason for that is because on that sequence right i'm going to open up another track i'm going to use the hype synth and I go to sound effects general, and I'm gonna use record crackle. And what I do, I send the MIDI from that drum program, right, where I just put the whole song on, send that MIDI to the hype synth track that has the record crackle, so that when as so that when I hold the note down, I get the record crackle, right? So you get this the record crackle sound into the, the song and then I just, you know, how much of the record crackle do I want to be prominent. And once I do that, I, cause I have it on note on, note on, I have to hold it down for the whole length of however long I want it to cover the whole track is usually 32 beats. And then once I'm done, I flatten the sequence. So now I have a beat that sounds like this. Basically, that's how you do it. 
it covers all the what you will make a typical SP ish effects. You can do this on this, right? By flattening the pad or bouncing it to, to a sample, it's a way of resampling. And that's what I did to get that record sound or the crackle on top of the beat. And this is what you get, right? So. I think it sounds good. Let me know in the comment section what you think. But this is how I make lo-fi beats inside the MPC Live 2. I can do it in the Force, but I mainly use the Force more or less for like performancing um, and to make my loop packs for right now. But I'm gonna get more back on to the Force, especially once I take a day or two to program all the macros and shit. So I could do beat tapes, live performances. So yeah, this is dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, if you want me to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this, let me know in the comment section and I'll show you step-by-step. -step. And with that, y'all have a blessed evening and be safe and go get my loop pack at cosnoverfears.org NV loops. I'll leave a link in the description in the comment section. So yeah, let me know what you think about my lo-fi beats. Is it lo-fi or is it something else? But I like it. I think this shit is fire. So let me know what you think. And with that, Mike out.